is that in terms of the accreditation, a lot of people ask me about what is all this NBA, NAC, what is the importance of this accreditation and all that. So let's spend a couple of minutes in terms of understanding what these are. NAC uh, accreditation is for a campus, all right? So it's for a college or for a university. So they would look at the totality of whatever is being offered in the college, the processes and everything there in that particular campus. So the accreditation is for the entire campus, all right? So, and uh, there are again grades there, A plus, A, B plus, B, et cetera, et cetera. So obviously that is very clear. A plus is better than A, A is better than B plus, et cetera. On the other hand, NBA accreditation is for a department, okay? Or for a branch. So a lot of engineering colleges say NBA accredited. It doesn't make any sense. NBA accreditation for which branch? That is what is important and you need to check that up. Okay. Now question is, are they important? Normally, again, some of these things, NBA and NAC accreditations can be managed. People can buy, people can influence, people can manipulate and get to an extent. But uh, if you ask me, uh, should I go for a college with accreditation or go, go for a college without accreditation? I will say go for a college with accreditation because at least the management has tried to get an accreditation. They have gone through a process, however imperfect it is, they have gone through a process. But just because a college has got accreditation doesn't mean it is great. So in comparison with a college which doesn't have an accreditation, it is good. All right, so that is how you can use it. But just because it has accreditation, that mean, it doesn't mean that it is great. Okay, so that is, that is what you got to keep in mind as far as accreditation is considered. Next is in terms of NIRF ranking. There are, I think about uh, uh, 12 colleges at the state level, which have gone for NIRF accreditation. It's good that this college have gone for accreditation, but again, I'm against any kind of ranking because the rankings don't actually reflect our concerns. Even NIRF, for example, as per NIRF uh, ranking, uh, among the 12 colleges, Vasavi College is from, is the second last or something like that. I don't believe it because, you know, we all know that after CBIT, the next college, next private college, which people would prefer is Vasavi. So don't just go by the ranking. But the fact that a particular college has taken the trouble of going for NIRF ranking itself is a good indicator. But don't go, don't make your decisions on the basis of this NIRF ranking. But anyway, there are only just 12 colleges from the state which have gone for NIRF rankings. 